Have you ever found yourself staring into the abyss, pondering the meaning of life and existence itself? It's a profound question, isn't it? One that has been asked time and time again by philosophers, scientists, artists, and just about anyone who's ever taken a moment to pause and reflect. Life and existence, these are weighty concepts, aren't they? They're so vast, so complex, so full of mysteries and questions that it can be overwhelming. What does it mean to exist? Why are we here? What's the purpose of it all? These questions have puzzled humankind for ages, and the answers are as varied as the people who contemplate them. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, our existence can seem insignificant. We're just specks of stardust on a tiny planet in a vast universe that's been around for billions of years and will continue to exist for billions more. It's enough to make anyone feel small and perhaps even question the purpose of it all. Enter nihilism, a philosophical viewpoint that's been around for centuries. Nihilism suggests that life, in its essence, lacks inherent meaning or purpose. It posits that values, morals, and beliefs are merely human constructs devoid of any objective truth. Now, that might sound a bit bleak at first, but stay with us. Nihilism doesn't have to be despair-inducing. It doesn't have to lead to a sense of hopelessness or existential dread. In fact, it can be quite liberating. It can free us from the shackles of prescribed meaning and allow us to carve our own path to create our own purpose. But what if we told you there's a way to see this seeming lack of purpose not as a cause for despair but as a reason for hope? Yes, you heard it right, it's called optimistic nihilism, and it's a philosophy that just might change the way you see the world. But more on that in the next scene. Stay tuned. Welcome to the world of optimistic nihilism, a lens to view life in a profoundly liberating way. Let's start by defining our subject. Optimistic nihilism is a philosophy that combines two seemingly contradictory elements. Nihilism, the belief that life lacks inherent meaning or purpose, and optimism, the belief in positive outcomes. It's the perspective that, while life may not have an objective or universal purpose, that doesn't mean it can't hold subjective meaning for us as individuals. So how does optimistic nihilism differ from standard nihilism? While both share the premise that life lacks intrinsic meaning, standard nihilism often stops there, potentially leading to feelings of despair or indifference. Optimistic nihilism, however, takes this concept a step further, it acknowledges life's lack of inherent meaning and then posits that this very absence of preordained purpose can be a source of liberation. This brings us to a fascinating idea. Could life's lack of inherent meaning be liberating rather than depressing? The idea might seem counterintuitive at first. After all, we humans are meaning-making creatures. We seek purpose in our jobs, our relationships, our achievements. But imagine for a moment that there is no grand cosmic plan no predetermined path we're supposed to follow. In this scenario, we're free to create our own paths, to find our own meanings, to set our own goals. We're not shackled by a predetermined destiny. Instead, we're empowered to make the most of our existence on our own terms. This is the essence of optimistic nihilism. It's a philosophy that encourages us to embrace life's inherent uncertainty and to craft our own meaning out of the randomness of existence. It's the realization that, while we may be small and ephemeral in the grandeur of the cosmos, we have the capacity to make our short lives count in ways that matter to us. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, our existence may be insignificant, but that doesn't mean it can't be meaningful to us. So, how does one find liberation in the absence of inherent meaning? This question has puzzled and intrigued thinkers for centuries. The concept of creating our own purpose and meaning is a cornerstone of optimistic nihilism. This philosophy posits that life, in its raw form, doesn't come with a user manual or a predestined purpose. It's like a blank canvas waiting for an artist's touch, or an unwritten book, longing for a storyteller's words. Imagine that you're the artist or the storyteller. You have the freedom to paint whatever you wish on this canvas, to write whatever story you want in this book. No rules, no restrictions, no predetermined narrative. This is the freedom offered by optimistic nihilism. In the absence of inherent meaning, we are given the opportunity to create our own. This self-determined purpose can lead to a more fulfilling life. It's like being the author of your own life story, where you decide the plot twists, the character developments, and the climactic moments. You're not a puppet controlled by some cosmic puppeteer. You're the puppeteer. Some might argue that a life without inherent meaning would be empty, bleak, or meaningless. But optimistic nihilism challenges this notion. It suggests that the absence of a predetermined destiny can allow for greater freedom and self-direction. 
It's like being a ship captain in the vast ocean of existence. There are no predestined routes or destinations. You're free to chart your own course, to explore uncharted waters, and to discover new lands. This sense of freedom can be liberating, empowering, and fulfilling. It can be the catalyst for personal growth, self-discovery, and self-fulfillment. It can spur creativity, innovation, and progress. It can make life not just bearable but also enjoyable and meaningful. In essence, optimistic nihilism is about creating your own symphony in the silence of the cosmos. It's about finding beauty in the void, meaning in the meaningless, and purpose in the purposeless. It's about turning the absence of inherent meaning into a canvas for self-expression, a stage for self-actualization, and a platform for self-determination. In our fast-paced world, where does optimistic nihilism fit in? Let's delve into the depths of this philosophical perspective's role in our contemporary lives. In the whirlwind of modern existence, we're often bombarded with a myriad of expectations and pressures. From achieving career success to maintaining social appearances, the world can feel like a relentless treadmill, fueling stress, anxiety, and a sense of existential dread. But here's where optimistic nihilism steps in. It provides a unique lens through which we can view these pressures, not as burdensome chains, but as arbitrary constructs. By acknowledging that in the grand cosmic scheme, these stresses hold no inherent meaning or value, we can distance ourselves from their weight, fostering a sense of calm amidst the chaos. But it's not just about stress relief. Optimistic nihilism can also promote a healthier perspective towards failure and setbacks. In a society that often equates success with self-worth, failure can seem devastating. However, optimistic nihilism encourages us to see failure not as a reflection of our worth, but as a natural component of a universe devoid of inherent purpose or judgment. It's a gentle reminder that it's okay to stumble, to not have all the answers, and to be imperfect. After all, in the vast, indifferent universe, our failures are but tiny blips, hardly worth the torment we often subject ourselves to. Furthermore, optimistic nihilism can foster resilience in the face of life's inevitable hardships. By acknowledging that suffering too holds no inherent meaning, we can learn to navigate through tough times without succumbing to despair. We're reminded that just as joy is transient, so too is suffering in the grand cosmic dance. Optimistic nihilism then serves as a beacon, guiding us through the tumultuous seas of modern existence. It's a philosophy that doesn't just help us cope with life's challenges, but also empowers us to live more fully, authentically, and with a sense of wonder, even amidst the seeming absurdity of existence. So, what have we learned about optimistic nihilism? Let's take a step back and revisit the fascinating journey we've been on. We probed life's existence, excavating the essence of our being and asking the hard questions. We then unraveled the concept of optimistic nihilism, peeling back the layers of this seemingly paradoxical philosophy. We discovered that it's not about plunging into despair because life lacks inherent meaning, but rather about embracing the freedom that this absence of predetermined purpose can provide. We delved into the liberating aspects of optimistic nihilism, the boundless freedom in the absence of cosmic destiny. This philosophy doesn't chain you to a set path but sets you free, allowing you to carve your own course, define your own purpose. It's about finding joy and satisfaction not in spite of life's meaninglessness but because of it. The lack of a grand cosmic plan means every moment is yours to shape, every decision is genuinely your own, and every experience is a unique expression of your existence. Then we examine the role of optimistic nihilism in modern life. We saw how it can empower us to take responsibility for our lives, to live authentically and fully. We discussed how it frees us from the shackles of societal expectations, allowing us to focus on what truly matters to us. As we conclude our exploration, I encourage you to consider this philosophy and how it might apply to your own life. Ponder on how the freedom to create your own meaning can transform your perspective, how it can empower you to live more authentically, more fully. Remember, in the vast cosmos you have the freedom to create your own meaning and that, dear viewers, is the beauty of optimistic nihilism.